The biggest mistake the students do is undoubtedly giving up. It is very easy to assume after a disappointing test that you are simply a D or a C grade student. Do not accept the fact that your level of physics now will be the same in a month's time. After some simple changes, your results will be drastically different. In order to improve, we must absolutely make sure that our foundations of maths are solid. For instance, practice until we can rearrange an equation such as this one confidently and easily or that you can resolve a vector such as this one into its horizontal and vertical components. It is also very important to manage your time and energy well. This cup right here is all of your time and energy. Some of it might go into catching up on your favorite Netflix shows or playing your favorite games. Some of it might go into scrolling through social media and there's also family commitments and this cup right here is improving in your studies in physics. Huh? And do you see what might be the problem? This is the energy and time that's required to really improve at physics. And in order to solve this problem, some of that time and energy needs to come from one of the other places. And remember to stay hydrated. Also, do you ever find yourself in this situation? Oh no, my bus is cancelled, which means I'm gonna have to wait 20 minutes. Hey, hang on a minute, I could be learning physics and maths using the sponsor of today's video. Brilliant. It is the best way to learn science and maths interactively from anywhere. They've got so many courses, I could be learning maths and computer science and even data science that I want to do in the future. For instance, they've just released a brand new course on vectors. Getting a visual understanding of this topic is crucial and their lessons are explaining the context of creating a video game through vectors. This is so much more engaging than what I'm normally used to. You must absolutely check it out for free for 30 days using the link brilliant.org slash zphysics. I've even got a special deal for you guys and the first 200 people that sign up will get 20% off using the link brilliant.org slash z physics. And now back to solving problems. Understand the process behind y equals mx plus c linear analysis and the six markers. This is virtually guaranteed to come up in A level. Next tip, and this is a hard one, but try and be delighted when you make a mistake. It is impossible to learn something new without doing a ton of mistakes. All we need to do is just make sure that we learn from them. Was it a simple forgetting to carry through a square that got you? These mistakes happen to everyone from time to time, but there are ways to minimize them. First of all, rearrange an equation symbolically and plug in the values right at the end. Or was the question simply on a topic that you didn't quite grasp in class and you need a little bit of extra time to go through it? Solve every available physics problem for your exam. Also, check out my physics workbooks with hundreds of problems arranged by topic that I will link in the description. Unfortunately though, even if you do everything in this video, you may find yourself solving problems but not quite improving quickly enough. And this is precisely why you should watch this video next that tackles this exact issue. Enjoy!